Hello, welcome back to Simple Sewing. This time we are going to learn how to make a Naruto Ninja headband. Um, they're based on the books and TV shows. So when you come and collect your kit, it'll come with a couple things inside. You will have your um, piece of fabric, a needle and thread, and also the hidden leaf symbol from the book. So when we go through and create this design, uh, take out your piece of fabric first and fold it in half the long way like a hot dog. And we're gonna sew along the side that's open. So you have the one side that's open, right? And one side that's closed. So we sew down this edge. And with this, you can use your needle and thread and hand sew it, or you can use your machine and just create a solid line down the side. Um, to set it up on the machine, you just put it in, line it up to any of the numbers that are there. So uh, if you want a one inch, you'll line up to one. If you want two inches, you line it up to two and just go down the edge. But for hand sewing, you will tie a knot in the end. Um, I gave you quite a lot of thread, so my recommendation is take a little bit at a time, cut it off. Um, it's okay to stop and start on these, but a lot of times if you use too much thread, it will get tangled up. So what you're going to do is you just sew in and out and in and out and in and out down the edge. If you want to sew a different way, you can. There's not really a way to mess this one up, very thankfully. Um, so I'll do a couple at once. They don't have to be perfectly straight, that's okay. Um, but you're gonna go down the entire edge and do one of the tops, but leave the other one, the other top open. And what does this do? It kind of creates like a sleeping bag almost. And what you're gonna do is if you have a chopstick or a pencil, you are going to take the edge that you've sewn shut and put your pencil in it and poke it through. You can use your thumb too. That's what I do. Um, and basically that's going to flip the design you've created inside out and hide the seam in the back. So once you flip it inside out, then it will look like this. It'll have a nice seam to it. And I just took the extra side and folded it down, sewed across it. And then after that, you do have your whole headband. And what I did was I took my design, laid it flat in the middle, and then just sewed down around the top and around the side and that secured it. Um, in the show, it's kind of on an angle, so I did it on the angle. Um, one thing I do recommend is, it doesn't matter how the back looks, again, that's gonna go against your forehead, so it doesn't matter, but I do recommend the line that you've sewn down the middle, try and move it to the middle of the back, um, just so then there's no line in your design or on the edges, right? So then, all the parts that uh, maybe aren't perfect are hidden away, so it doesn't matter, right? And then you can tie it around your forehead and you are ready to rock with your fancy ninja design. Uh, I hope you have some fun creating this one. Have a great day. Bye.